Eustis police are sending out a resident alert after one, sometimes two people have been posing as city workers trying to get water samples inside homes. See a boil water notice in your area. Have you received it? No. One resident in nearby Umatilla caught a woman on her ring camera. A Eustis city spokesperson says she fits the description of at least one of the imposters residents reported to authorities. However, we are blurring her face because she told police she was selling water softeners without a permit and wasn't charged with any crime. The person did not get into her house. David Randall says the same woman came to his Eustis home two days ago at 11 in the morning. She had a small vial of something looked like to collect a sample, wanted to come in the house, you know, and my son says, well, how about the spigot? It's the same water. That wasn't good enough. No, that was, you know, so that it just red flags all over the place. David Randall's neighbor said a woman also came here asking the same questions. Did you know that there's a boil water order? He asked for her ID. She said something and then he said, thank you. Goodbye. Randall also asked for ID. The woman left. He called the water department. And they would not have a two week water boil. They wouldn't know that it would be that, you know, critical for that length of time. So, you know, they were they were going, they were casing the place. She wanted access to the house. In fact, neighbors tell us about four residents in the area were hit along Holly Street and Phyllis Circle in Eustis the same day. Do you have an ID tag? That's when she really started backpedaling. Police say if someone does come on behalf of the city of Eustis, please ask for their city ID badge. If they don't provide it, call the police department. Now, if in fact there is a boil water issue, the city of Eustis will notify residents with door hangers. It'll have time, date, information about what the problem's all about, plus a number for the water department. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Lake County for West 2 News.